Yesterday we took a look at dancing and we didn't really take a look at all kinds of dancing. We just talked about raising our hands and reaching out to God and not being afraid to sway back and forth and allow the music to be a part of us. But the second part of verse 3 in chapter 149 is something that very much has caused controversy over the years because it talks about using instruments also when it comes time of our praise. Now at this time the two instruments that are talked about were the tambourine and the harp. Most people don't know this but David was actually a harpist and it would help him to calm down so that he could spend his time before the Lord. Now over time it's changed and all of a sudden things got introduced such as the organ, then the piano, and then the piano went to the guitar, and the guitar went to the drums, and the drums went to the keyboard, and all these things were added, and all of a sudden, all the churches were going, that church was wrong for this, and this church was wrong for this, and they're not doing worship right, and on and on and on, and what was missing was people's focus on the Lord, on both sides. You could be one of those people that think it's too loud. You could be one of these people that say, we need to stay with the old hymns, because many of those old hymns actually come from these psalms. And you may also be someone that is like, I do not care what it is, just so that we praise the Lord. Which is it with you? Do you have a block when it comes to the music or the worship that you have within your church? Would you ask yourself tonight and ask yourself this question. Is this block my block? Or is this block something that's hindering others to worship and praise the Lord? Because at the end of the day, that is what it is truly about. I want you to pray about that, seriously. I want you to meditate on this tonight, and we'll talk more about where God is taking this tomorrow.